Hi everyone, it's Emily, and today we're going to talk about how to look and feel expensive. In case you haven't seen some of my previous videos, I give a lot of tips and ways to live a more minimalist lifestyle in relation to fashion and practice the art of slow fashion. So this particular video explains 10 tips on how to style outfits to look expensive and chic without necessarily going shopping. These cheap ways to look expensive can be used for all styles and all budgets. You don't necessarily have to have a Kardashian sized closet. Some would even argue that part of shopping sustainably is just not shopping at all. Sometimes it's about using and loving what you already have and in some case investing in pieces that are timeless enough to last a lifestyle. So I've gathered 10 pointers to make your clothes look more luxe even when they might not be. And some of these tips might seem a little obvious, but require going the extra mile, while others are a testament to me just being privy to a well-dressed woman. So let's get started. So number one, dress in tonal colors, like all white or all black. And not only is it incredibly elongating, but a monochrome outfit always looks intentional and put together. And a good tip is just make sure when your whites are really bright um, and that your blacks match. Um, dressing in all neutrals is super timeless. It looks luxury. You can do this with um, other colors other than just neutrals as well. Prints can look expensive too, but on occasion some brands will use prints to camouflage poor workmanship. So it might not always be the best way to go if you want to dress in print. I would suggest picking one that's a classic, maybe like a polka dot, a leopard, or a plaid. Um, also, prints that match on the seams give a much more expensive designer look. Number two, tailoring and fit. This is so important because it's hard to look and feel elevated when you're fidgeting with your clothes or you're uncomfortable. The bespoke look isn't that hard to achieve. You can just find a good tailor and tweak your clothes. I've mentioned this in a couple of videos, but it's very important to make the most out of your wardrobe and to look expensive. So it's the difference between taking an extra two days to tweak a jacket or a pant by nipping in the waist or just adjusting a hem. Number three, clothing maintenance. This might seem like something your mother would say, but taking the extra five minutes to steam or press your look will add instant polish to even your most worn in wardrobe favorites. This includes steaming your clothes, making sure you're reading your care labels, and how you maintain and care for your clothes affects the way that they lay on your body. They'll last longer and make them look more high quality. Washing clothes on delicate or air dry or just hand washing them also helps. I see your accessories too, so keep your handbags polished. You can even use Windex on patent leather. You can use unscented body lotion on all other kinds of leather, leather and you can Restuff easily malleable shapes when storing them and always always pack your purses and dust bags when traveling Number four adding structure to your outfit whether it's a blazer or a handbag It can add a lot of authority to your outfit and elevates the look Not every aspect of your outfit needs to be structured But if you add in for example a trouser with a perfectly pressed pleat or a boxy handbag, it makes you look more put together. Number five, add a belt and tuck in to look very polished. So that very nonchalant look is something I'm always pursuing in, in my style, but in the case of looking like you know what you're doing, just tuck in your shirt tails um, or with a baggy sweater hem, uh, you can tuck it in, kinch your waist with a, with a chic belt for, for maximum um, uh, impact. Number six, styling. So this affects how you feel and what you wear. The trick is to make it look like you spent more time on your outfit than you really did. You want the look to look thoughtful and deliberate so you can simply cuff a pant or tuck in your shirt a certain way and it can really make the outfit. A big trend this past spring was wrapping the straps of your, your heels over your pants. So I mean this is a little more trendy but um, it is something that sort of brought together an outfit and definitely looked like you put a lot of time into it. Another tip with styling is to match your shoes and your handbag. When in doubt keeping your accessories in the same color palette will ensure your look comes off as very intentional. Um, so 
Another way would also be to dress up your denim. It's an easy way to look expensive if, if your heels, if you add heels and you're uh, like a really fun lipstick. Um, and be sure to keep your denim washes really rich and classic. It looks much more elevated. Number seven is your personal style flair. So this sort of ties in with styling, but it's all about having an air of exclusivity that translates to a more expensive look. So you can achieve this by thrifting for a vintage unique item, like a unique ring, and it just becomes your signature thing. So I love gold hoops, um, as you can see, and I love vintage rings. They're my go-to for everyday outfit and dressing up. And I feel like they make my outfits much more unique. So with pieces like that, it doesn't matter if it's on trend or it's brand new. Um, it's a way to make your outfit look a little more expensive. So here, um, gold jewelry is a great way to, to elevate the outfit. There's just something about that structural, gilded, extra, whether it's it could be a bag or jewelry or both, it definitely gives like an editorial sort of look. Number eight, beauty matters. So polished hair and makeup can elevate any kind of look. Um, whether it's like a sleek blow dry, your red lips, um, really flawless skin, they're the ultimate finishing touches. And you guys can stay tuned because I'm going to do a video on this next week on my own personal um, weekly beauty routine. It's very important to find a hairdo that works for you every day and allows you to look put together and chic. For me, that style is a low pony or a high bun. And I usually pull a few hairs out um, just so it sort of frames my face. And it takes like 30 seconds to do and it looks very sophisticated. So beauty also includes adding like a thoughtful lipstick that looks good with your skin tone. And this, this almost always can elevate your look. Number nine, layering. So a tailored jacket is an editor's secret weapon. It elevates denim, polishes off a flowy dress, looks chic thrown over the shoulders, and can even take slim pants to the boardroom. So it's truly your best friend and an easy way to elevate a look on, your, on a budget. Number 10, choose timeless outerwear. This one may require shopping, but if you choose the right brand, it will last you the rest of your life. So forgo the trends each season and focus on purchasing coats that are forever classic, um, like something camel, a navy pea coat, a black moto jacket, a belted trench, raw denim. Um, every time you reach for, for a jacket that's classic and timeless, you won't regret it. That's my 10 tips. Comment below if you'd like me to do more videos on styling and let me know what makes you look and feel expensive. Subscribe to my channel and click the bell to get notified when I upload new videos every Friday. Thanks for watching and have a great day, guys. Thanks. This week I'm wearing the Eloise dress, which is part of my fall winter 2020 collection. So I'll put a link in my description for you guys to check it out.